Now is a historical moment, a time, not only to fight severe virus, but to shape the system. Severe virus, but to shape the system. English wird die Arbeitssprache. Good afternoon. Good morning in the United States. We have set sail to turn like to turn the 2020s into a new beginning, a decade of transformation and progress for our country. Without a truly global immunization campaign, we will soon run out of letters in the Greek alphabet for new variants of the virus. But the good news is, thanks to far-sighted cooperation, we have the tools to break the cycle. And Germany, already the second largest donor to the global vaccine campaign, will continue to do its part. By supporting COVAX, we are determined to reach 70% of the world population by the middle of the year. And as part of our current G7 presidency, we will focus on improving the international health infrastructure, including in countries of the global south. Ladies and gentlemen, Germany is committed to playing a crucial role in the global transformation. Together with the Gates Foundation and other founders of those crucial organizations, particularly today. Founders of those crucial... English wird die Arbeitssprache. However, we need partners to join hands, particularly in the private sector. So in the spirit of Davos, let us work together to fully fund the global vaccination campaign that would also be the booster shot our economies need. As we speak, those economies are facing the most fundamental transformation since the Industrial Revolution. Citizens demand explanations for the changes our decisions are making to their lives. The sheer magnitude and simultaneity of globalization, digitalization and climate adaptation leaves many citizens worrying. That is why my government has established an independent board of experts and scientists who advise us during the pandemic. And when their credibility is attacked by a small but loud and radical minority, it is our duty to defend them. So what we need is better progress. Progress that isn't measured just in its short-term results, but also factors in its long-term consequences and side effects. Because we know that change in a democracy only works if it is by the people and for the people. Thank you very much, um, Federal Chancellor. Very ambitious, very comprehensive, but as I mentioned, very necessary program because we are living in the age of the fourth industrial revolution. We have the chance for a new renaissance. We will now start a quite a high number of task forces to look at all the different issues and we will present all those ideas to the people assembled in Davos and all those ideas to the people assembled in Davos dass jeder Englisch verstehen und Englisch sprechen können muss. Die Pandemie bietet ein seltenes, aber enges Zeitfenster, um unsere Welt zu reflektieren, neu zu definieren und neu zu starten. Viele von uns fragen sich, wann wir wieder zur Normalität zurückkehren. Die kurze Antwort ist, nie. Nichts wird je wieder zu dem kaputten Gefühl von Normalität zurückkehren, das vor der Krise geherrscht hat, weil die Coronavirus-Pandemie einen fundamentalen Wendepunkt in unserer globalen Entwicklung markiert. Manche Analysten nennen es eine Weggabelung, andere eine Krise biblischen Ausmaßes, aber im Kern läuft es darauf hinaus, dass es die Welt, wie wir sie in den ersten Monaten von 2020 kannten, nicht mehr gibt. Sie hat sich im Kontext der Pandemie aufgelöst. Klaus Schwab, Vorsitzende des Weltwirtschaftsforums, in seinem Buch Covid-19. Der große Umbruch 2020.